Bro, I am so tired right now. Rough day at school. I mean, not really, but I'm I'm just sick, so it's like. Oh uh, yeah, that 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 deals you in. It, it does it to me. Um, definitely, man. I'm walking yeah, today... in Minecraft. Oh, for real? For real. Yeah, today I fucking went to my second. Cause I took two eight week classes, and I'm taking an. I started my second two week. I mean eight week. Eight week. Yep. Two classes. And this fucking teacher, this fucking professor, eighty fucking dollars for a hundred page book, and it's her book cross. It's Bro. her fucking book. She wrote it. She's scamming me. <laughs> You're getting scammed. You know, it's illegal to upload a book to the internet, but I might just do it. Save these fucking kids. You know, because like eighty, like usually you can find textbooks online if they're like used by like teachers you know, actual like colleges and teachers and stuff but this is her personal book this is what she teaches only she teaches it with it so i couldn't fucking find it online so i have to spend 80 fucking dollars so i don't fail the class cross isn't that fucking zany what do you did you just say zany yeah it's a little zany bro. it is it is a bit zany i'll give it's you that it's fucking wacky what are you majoring in Fucking marketing management. Oh, like, you fucking loser. I haven't even done mar I haven't done any marketing yet. It's just like intro to business, accounting one, English two, stuff like that. What can you do with a m marketing degree besides like a market? That's it. Is it actually probably probably marketing and probably something in business or communications? That's all. That is. I feel like that's no Limiting. offense. I feel like that's lame as hell. Yeah, but it will pay the bills for us. So. That's true. You, you know what they say? If you don't, if you don't know what you want to do, get a business degree, and that's what I'm doing. That's true. What's the uh, plan after? What's your passion, drug? I don't have a passion. That's the problem. Overwatch. You know, well, yeah, I pretty much spend most of my time on Overwatch. Overwatch but, uh, is my passion. I mean, maybe I could get into esports, but that's probably it. You guys yeah. have like a college team. No, because I go to like a community college. No, oh, that's fair. I didn't want to. I didn't want to spend the whole, you know, save money uh, for the AA degree, then transfer. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing. Because uh, you know, your boy didn't get a scholarship. He wasn't a scholar in high school. So. It feels bad. It does, doesn't it? Uh, I thought about being an electrician, and then the scary thought of dying by connecting the wire to my penis really uh, buggered me off, you know? Well, I feel like they would teach you to not do that, you know? Well, yeah, but, like, well, what if I'm, like, 45, I'm tired of shit, two kids, a wife just nagging me, I'm fucking depressed as shit, and then I connect the one wire to the ground floor, and then it shocks me, and I die, you know? W, you then. Well, 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 I still want to live, even if my life is miserable. Oh. Uh. Yeah. What do you want to be? Didn't you say you want to be like a psychologist or something? I no. I never said that ever. All right, we talked about it before. I guess I forgot. Oh well, yeah, I don't think we have. Yeah, you, we definitely have. Because I would have told you no idea. Oh really? Yeah. I must yeah. have had this conversation with someone else then. Yeah, a different cross. Some other some other young strapping lad. I'm I'm like actually clueless right now though. I think the biggest thing is don't be a pussy and get internships over the summer. I kind of potential things oh, or watch a right. bunch of videos or do something. Yeah, you know? I'm in this mentor program right now where they kind That's of like great. partnered us up with business leaders in the area based on our interests. Bro, drug, when we were filling that sheet out, they asked us about the type of shows that we watched. I put Breaking Bad, Better Call <laughs> Saul, El Camino. <laughs> American Psycho, Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> I'm hey. in that entrepreneur mindset. Yeah, no, for real. And hey, fucking Camino, Better Call Saul, Breaking Bad, all fantastic shows. So it's like, they'll be like, oh, this, this kid got great taste. True. Dude, I hope they don't bring that up during the icebreakers. That's going to be so embarrassing.
You know what's fucking? I always. They, I don't know why they do it in high school. I don't know why they keep doing it in college. They're always like, "What's your name? What's your major? How old are you? Tell me an interesting fact about yourself. Like, tell me about yourself." It's like I do. I like. I'm not gonna half the time in college unless you like actually like talk to a person. You're never gonna see them again unless like they're in your later higher up class. It's like I don't give a shit who these people are. Just let me get my grade cross. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. I want these people to know me. I don't want to talk about myself. Yeah, I'm drug Overwatch. I like I, Overwatch. I like Overwatch. Oh, what's Overwatch? So do not <laughs> do not concede. <laughs> no, I'm stuck in a sweet berry. Did you see that new Minecraft mob that they're adding? The camel, or the sniffer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the sniffer. Honestly, I'm a sniffer fan. I'm okay with You're it. Such a bitch. Fuck it was you. What are you? Are you? Don't tell me I, rascal. Do not say no, rascal. No, no, no. Don't. Why are you disrespecting like that? It's like I'm a rascal fan. Oh my god, I would have. I mean, it it might have been cool to like put them in a dropper and just watch them die endlessly in a glass tube. But besides that, um. What did the tough golem even do? I didn't vote. Uh, I voted for the tough golem because it, like, pretty sure, like, carried around shit. I don't know. I think it was, like, something like the LA, but honestly, I just like golems, so I voted for it. That's true. And it's either... I voted it for for a reason. I know that. But, um... Not a very good what reason. Was, what was the reason? I forgot. It was either tough point. golem or sniffer and the the only reason why i didn't vote sniffer is because they might give us plants but what if they're mid-ass plants you know what i'm saying that's true that's the only reason it's because of the plants. i voted sniffer for the e-girls i didn't vote but i wanted sniffer for the e-girls I, I wanted them to be happy drug i wanted them to be like oh i got new flowers to decorate with oh my god and then i wanted to be like yeah babe that looks really nice and then I come over to the Minecraft world and eat the flowers. <laughs> and I like your flowers now, you stupid. I beat fucking... you up. I beat you up. That's what I do. I'll beat no. you up. Run across. I have some friends, right? Mm -hmm. And they've been playing this game called Cookie Run Kingdom. Do you know this game? They've played a what? Cookie Run Kingdom. Fucking. Is that the shit I see on TikTok? Uh, maybe there's a couple ads. It's a game of cookies and it's like a post RPG. post a picture of it in the fbrd yeah. general because that's yeah. the discord tab i'm open on right now and it's nighttime yeah. and i don't want to pause no what the fuck did i look up fbrd general uh <laughs> you no. ever get that where like someone says something and then you type in like that's what i meant to type i do I'm one stupid bitch sometimes, cross my friend. Understandable. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's because they have a, a BTS event, right? And I oh said, my well, god. I, I gotta get all the BTS cookies now. And at first, like day one, I, uh, I you know, ironically started playing it. No. They too. They too attracted cross. Cross. I got it. no. Cross. cross. It's just. It's no. Cross. No. I might be stuck here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. No. Cross. I fucking love these cookies too much. Cross. No way. There's this cookie that looks like Reinhardt, and and he's just he's he's amazing, right? He's amazing. Is there a Winston cookie? Sadly, there's no monkey cookie. Oh. Yeah. Maybe I should, like, ask them to make it. So you ironically got it to get all the BTS cookies, but yeah, now you're I was hooked. Like, I was like, haha, BTS, that's so fun and stupid. And now I'm like, I can't stop, you know? I'm addicted to the shindig. Where am I? <sighs> I wish they had a loser cookie. That would have been amazing. That would be so awesome. What's with these homies dissing my girl? Why do they got a front? What did we ever do to these guys? That made them so violent. That's what I'm ooh, saying. Ooh. 
You want to help me write a Buddy Holly Minecraft parody? Um, sure. From a villager's point of view. No, from a villager's point of view. Yeah, now, that I, that might be hard for we us. Got, I'm got, more of a, in Minecraft standpoint, I'm more of a <gasps> like another frog kind of kind of creature. You know what I'm saying? Another frog. I see life from another frog perspective. Okay, but so, we got what's what's with these Stevie stealing my stuff? Why do they got a grief? I might get Mad Dog in on it. I mean, fuck. I mean, that's pretty good. That's you pretty know, good. you know Mad Dog. I don't know Mad Dog. Who's Mad Dog? Look up, look up, uh, Cardi B. We are Poggers on YouTube.com. God. about to be the most horrendous shit I've ever heard. <laughs> Can I go sorry, honestly? Dude, I cannot get past this fucking mountain. If only I could, if only I could see my face of the first 15 seconds What's that your, I just listened to this. What's your face like? It's, uh... Jaw adjourned. No, it's so no just, when you're cringing and how like you start awesome smiling is for how like cringe it is. A cringe? Like, what do you mean? It's it's just it's not necessarily cringe, but I'm more of a Minecraft classics kind of guy. The classics, you know? okay. I I like the revenges. I like the fallen kingdoms. You know. The the old generation must usher in the new. Drug. Yeah, yeah, I and that know, that I video know. has a hundred and fifty thousand views. Well, I mean, I wouldn't toot to your horn too bad. It's one hundred and forty nine thousand eight hundred and seventy six views. Not yet one hundred fifty k. Of course, you can round up, but really, let's be real here. All right. Would you shut up? <laughs> I I have her added on Snap though. So I've, I, no, I've I got, got contacts. I got I got this revolutionist, all right? His name's Grug Overwatch. He plays Overwatch, but he can do Minecraft content as well. <laughs> he's new, he's fresh, and he's 65. He's a fresh face so, to the scene. Say that I'm 65. I'm not gonna say that you're 65. That will scare. You see Dream fucking groomed people? No. Yeah. That is weird. Average but, Minecrafter. Nah, literally. I said that like, like, yeah, like, it's such a common occurrence. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be, but it is. Oh, the dream situation just got worse? Oh, I thought you meant that, like, well, holy shit, it's like an actual thing that just happened. I thought yeah. I read something about it, like, two months ago. Like, no, yeah. Straight. Oh, that was it? It's actually real? What? I think so, as far as I know. Dream, please don't end your career before it even started. I don't know. I don't really like look into it. I don't really care that much, honestly. Well, me either. But you know, it's kind of important that we have strong figures in a community of miners that don't get harassed. That's true. If you know. It's like you can't even reach out to a Minecrafter because they might fucking be like, oh, show me your butthole. You know? <laughs> show me your butthole. <laughs> See, that's why, that's why as an old head, as an as a old Minecraft old man, head. Captain Sparkles is my ride or die. It was Sky does Minecraft until he turned abusive and he is a fucking weird piece of shit. That's true. But uh, Captain Sparkles was always tied with him. And Captain Sparkles, even though he's not really relevant now, he hasn't gotten into any controversies in his 11 years of YouTube. Unless he has some kind of sex dungeon in his house. <laughs> Who knows? I'm a, I'm a just... stampy, long nose guy, personally. Uh, no, I never got into stampy. I'm going to be real. Really? I never, I never got uh, into it. it so I good. never really ventured out of the team crafted captain sparkles it is like an area it is like perfectly crafted minecraft entertainment for children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he knows exactly what he's doing and he pulls it off with flying colors every single time it's gorgeous no i never really got into syndicate either yeah you know, you know who syndicate is no i don't mm. yeah he's pretty old 
He mostly makes like Call of Duty shit now. Fuck, man. It's crazy to think that I've been playing Minecraft for more than a decade. Fuck me. <laughs> How the time flies. Oh, literally. I remember my first video game. What was it? It was it was Cars. It was a Cars video game on the Wii. Nice. I'm pretty sure mine was one of those fucking like Frogger things. Mm-hmm. Um, you are not like, that old. No, not for like frog, like like the you know those learning frogs. Oh, you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I'm not. I've actually been lying to you. This time. <laughs> I am 65. That was my coming out story. I'm coming out um, story. Yeah, no, it was one of like those educational things. My cousin had one of those. My cousin had like the bicycle one. Or like the, the bike fuck? attachment to it or whatever. That's crazy. Imagine getting run over while you're doing your fucking counting your two. <laughs> it was like in the house. It is weird. Oh, that is weird. Cousin's so strange. <laughs> he asked me to Q comp with him earlier today and he's bronze five. Hey, you gotta carry. You know okay. I I can't even Q. We're too far apart. Cross, I'm gonna tell you something, alright? And you're the only person that can hear this, okay? Okay. So, I was playing with Impact, Kazi, Kazi left, Thea, at night, right? Mm hmm. And you know, we lost a couple games, I didn't really care. Then my friend said, hey, let's, let's play Calm. And you know, he doesn't really get on Overwatch that much, so I said, okay, sure. And I told Knight and the rest of the game, I'm, I'm head off, right? So I walked off of, you know, Overwatch, uh, exited the Discord, I went to my own Discord, I went offline, and then I booted up the game again, right? And my friend, he had to do all those tank placements. So we did all the tank placements. I did um, support, and I only did support because, you know, I flexed. Mm -hmm. um, and I went from Gold 4 to Platinum 5 because we won all seven games. And it of course. Great. It felt great, you know. But you know, I can't, you know, I can't tell anyone besides you because then they could be like, "Oh, you're just a bitch for leaving." And, you know, that might be true. But you know, I don't like conflict across. I like to do things in uh, secrecy. You know what I mean? I feel you. When you never know. I'm the White House in 1023, 2022. I recorded that entire conversation. Holy shit! <laughs> Even the last part. Yeah. Um, I always knew the feds were going to get me one of these days. <laughs> Actually, I'm a fed in disguise. Holy shit. You guys were duped. Deceived. <coughs> yeah? I joined the gatekeepers plotting that I would meet Vegas. And that Vegas God. would offer me a spot on this team. And then that I would get it. And then that we would be in a Discord call all alone. You really, you really went in deep with that, didn't you? I'm just following orders. From who? Joe Biden? Joe yeah. Biden. Joe Biden, wake up. Joe Biden. I feel like we need an age limit for presidents, honestly. Uh, yeah, I thought it should be 70. That boy is, like 70 is good. senile up there. He's a little crazy. I think, yeah, I think he has better days when he's on his meds. Other days, he's a little, he's a little goofy. <laughs> I mean, some people are great. I mean, I think Bernie Sanders still has something up there, but the dude's like eighty-eight. Get That's him true. The fuck out. Get him out. Like, sure, he might, he might, he might still like. He's way more coherent than Joe Biden, but like, dude's fucking old. So, I mean, oh, come on. Get me in there, all right? You, you That's need drug overall. Drug for president. Yeah, vote huh? for me, twenty forty. I would change my name to Drug Overwatch just so you can know that's me. Isn't your name like Ezra or something? Ezra? Ezra. No. I wish my name was Ezra. No, I don't. What the, what the fuck did that one girl say that time? Uh, what, what is your name? What is my name? Yeah. 
I'm not telling you, Crumbs. We've been... <laughs> Fuck. What's... I don't know your name. What's your name? I'll tell you. If you tell me yours, because I forgot. You know my name. It's Nathan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to call you Big Nate from now on. Big Nate. I'm chill with that. Do you prefer big N, small eight, or small N, big eight? I cannot comprehend what you just said. So, so Those you know, words like, went in one ear and out the other. All right, I'm going to have to, I'm a, you know, I know you're playing Minecraft. It's very intense. You're going to have to alliterate. I'm gonna have to use those, you know, comprehension skills, you know. Mm -hmm. I and big N, or you know mm -hmm. how someone calls themselves big dog, so it's like big N. Yeah. And then small Nate, because you know Nate abbreviated for Nathan. Okay. Um, so big N, small Nate, or small N, big eight, you know. So they'll be like, "What's up?" Big N, small eight, or would you prefer, what's up, small N, big eight? What, whatever one problems? you think is appropriate. I, I, I can't, I can't choose. I might just go with the tried and true cross, if I'm being honest. That'll work. I'm gonna leave this cat without a parent. What is your name? I want you to guess. It's it's something like out of the Chris ordinary. Star. It's a little wacky. I don't think it's that weird. I mean, I've seen a, a couple recently. I've seen my name a lot for some reason. When it, I was little, I never saw it. It's not like a Daniel though. It's not super basic. No, no, it's not. It's not like like it's, common, but it's it's, it's a little it's, out there. People have it. Um, That's why I thought it was Ezra. Yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't want to share my name with Ezra Miller. That guy's like on cocaine, you know. That's true. Harassing people. Man, do you know that man's still working for DC? Is he like, actually? Yeah, they still they contracted him for like Flash Two or something. Bro, that's what I'm saying. What the fuck is your? What does it start with? Q. I guess you give it to you. Oh, it's like Quinn, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good name. That's a Quinn name. I like that name. Thank, thank you, Cross. Thank you. It's like it's like a good gender neutral name. That's what I'm saying. I might run Although, with that actually. I've been very torn. I want, I want to name my kid Winston. <laughs> <laughs> we, Winston. We pass, Winston Overwatch last name. <laughs> you pass it off as like Winston Churchill, whatever. No, yeah, yeah. Winston Overwatch. Yeah. That's when like. Everyone forgets about Overwatch, so they think it's like this like wacky little thing you made, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you see, you see, Cross. Um, I'm gonna name my kid something like like radical, like uh. Like the word radical or a radical? No, no. Oh, okay. that, that would be that would be intense, but I'm pretty sure we get bullied. Um. Oh, who says it's gonna be he? Maybe it's a she. That's yeah. true. I have no idea what I want to name a girl, man. Uh, I'm gonna name her like uh, I like Olivia. Olivia's a good name. Olivia. You know what ruined the name Olivia for me? What? Uh, have you ever watched The Sopranos? No. So um, in The Sopranos, Mr. Soprano has a mother, of course, named uh, Olivia Soprano. Mm -hmm. And she was the most vile bitch on the planet Earth. I see. And it's kind of stained the name for me. But I do like the name Olivia. Because you can you can say Liv. Olive. <laughs> Olive. Uh, big O, small Olivia. You know? <laughs> you do not say that. That is not <laughs> how you're afraid of people. <laughs> of course it is. Big Q, little win. Cool. <laughs> That's not the words. <laughs> If anything, it'd be small Q, big win. You see? Big win. Oh, shit. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bit of a... Oh, yeah. Boy name. I'm gonna name my kid Clementine. 
What the fuck? Yeah. That's so mean. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that kid hard. All right. What? What? Like in life. Like in life. Whoa. <laughs> like, like he's gonna have a hard oh, life. Wow. And, Oh my. I'm not gonna make my kid hard, I'm gonna make him have a hard life, alright? I mean, kids might call him Chlamydia, but who knows? I hope Chlamydia is banished by the time he's born. Where was that other one? What other one? <laughs> Let me just put my body in a 16 year old again. Fuck me. You want to my body in a 16-year-old again? Don't say that ever yeah, again. My guy, Goss is like bad. seven That's foot. Cool. You have stomp on. Okay, Garug. You a Maverick? I was not a Maverick. I was a avid Maverick denier. Mmm. Good, good. I think I was past the generation of... Mavericks. The Pauls. They didn't really have funny vines either, so I never really liked them. You were around for vine, right? I was very, very young when vine died. Mm -hmm. I, w I was the vine YouTube compilationer. I never mm -hmm. actually had vine. Well, I mean, that was me too. I never downloaded it, but I watched all the fucking compilations. If they oh, had. yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure then. And then when it died, that, you know, I, st I still... Did the same, but I think Vine died when I was in middle school. So Cross, what is the craziest story that you have from school? Like you or maybe some kid. Uh you wanna hear the entrepreneur one or the fight one? Why not both? Do I only get Why one of both? Day? Well, I don't know. Which one you want to start with? The fight one's kind of boring, honestly. It's... I'm going to start with the fight one. All right, so... Let me give you a little background, right? Sixth grade science. Actually, the shittiest year for science, I think. I had this teacher named Miss Glass. Miss oh, Glass yeah. was like 50-some, 60-some years old. Mm -hmm. She used to work at NASA, but now she is teaching middle schoolers science. So she can, you can imagine just how like absolutely salty she is. Mm -hmm. She has the Karen haircut. Of course. Wrinkly old pasty skin. Mm -hmm. Those like librarian glasses. Mm -hmm. And she is like, I kid you not, probably under five foot. And Weird. very frail old lady. Mm -hmm. Very frail. And we have we have school issue iPads in middle school to do like our coursework on and whatnot. The shitty ones. Right. So I'm I'm sitting there. I'm playing my Swerve.io on unblocked games, right? Of course. As any lad does. And in front of me, these two guys are just kind of like, kind of messing with each other's iPads, you know, like mm -hmm. tapping it a little bit, just kind of, just just kind of being goofy. dudes, you know. Yeah, 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 I get that. And then and then they stop being a little goofy. Mm. And then they actually get into like a brawl. Wow. And Miss Glass is in the hallway. She hears people like yelling for it. She comes in and she tries to break it up. These middle schoolers were bigger than she is. Mm -hmm. And she is in between them both. Both of them have a bloodlust for each other. Oh, and boy. she has to call for the teacher's assent. I'm I'm on the other side of the desk of this fight, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm like Little seeing crossed. it. Mm -hmm. I I did I did nothing. I I sat there and I played Swerve. I mean, I, I would too. Like you know, that's on my pro. That's true. I'm just trying to get number one on this on you know. That's what I'm saying, bro. I sucked ass at Swerve. I was, <laughs> it was bad. Was it the same as like Slither that I am, or was mm. it like different? No, it wasn't. It wasn't like a multiplayer one. It was, mm. you control this car on a road and you tap to like turn it. Oh. And it was like 90 degree turns on the road. Okay. Mm. Then the entrepreneur one is, so the middle school had this thing called teens night out, right? Of course. So like once every two months or something, mm -hmm. 
the school would host a place where you could just like drop off your kids and they could hang out with their friends. That's pretty cool. They had they had pizza, they had soft drinks, they opened the computer lab, the gym was open, there was a DJ in there. You know, all all just the fun stuff. Yeah, for kids. Yeah. So me being me, you know, first of all, I started in the computer lab, right? Of course. We're a gamer. Of course. Got a game. At heart. But what those bitches did is they shut down the computer lab so mm. I couldn't play a game. Mm. Me and my friends next back to stop option. We sit there. We get a slice of pizza. We, we hang out. We get a bunch of drinks. We just talk. Mm-hmm. I have the brilliant idea. All of our drinks, I have the brilliant idea to combine them mm. in an empty bottle. Of right? This tastes like shit. It is really bad. Mm. But the lean of soft drinks. Exactly. But we are able to sell it to people because they have their parents' money and they're curious mm. as to what we are doing. Wow. So I sit there and I pour it out in a Gatorade cap and I'm like, one dollar for a sip. Try the concoction. Of course people mm-hmm. hand over money. Of course. And I get filthy over. rich. Oh. Not bad. That's a business story. I got that grind set. You truly do, Cross. And then I tried to bring in a bag of stickers, but it got denied. Mm. I mean... Dr. Hanniger yeah, was not having it. People don't really associate in middle school, but in high school, they do. I tried to sell, like, candy at one point. I'm not trying to, but I thought of it. Oh yeah, yeah. You could people get caught, but some people can make like if you go to Costco and you get like a deal on like big ass tubs of chips for like a dollar, people will go to you rather than the vending machine. That's true. And you and know, then it's not all that like, like reduced fat shit that Michelle Obama put in place. Yeah, and they'll pay you it's like a forty pack for like ten bucks, and you sell it for a dollar each. Fucking thirty dollar profit. So forty a week, you know. Doing good. It's, it's, it's at least money, yeah. I was thinking about tutoring, honestly. You can definitely do tutoring if you're good at whatever you do. I mean, I'm in all honors, got straight A's. You know, we chilling. Yeah, I mean, you have to know how to explain to people. Right. That's about it. I mean, I already yeah, kind of tutor kids for community service, but it's not really tutoring more than kicking their asses in kickball. But yeah. every, every now and then they need a little math help, and I'm like, okay, what is nine times eight? Mm-hmm. And I explain it to them how, like, I know it. Mm-hmm. You definitely... Well, my mom's a teacher, and uh, maybe you almost fell in that hole, and that would have been hilarious. Um, the Grug teacher. Well, yeah, the Miss Grug teacher. Um, and her biggest problem is that, you know, when I was little, I was pretty, I was pretty dog shit <laughs> at like, hopefully, uh, math and reading. Mm-hmm. So she would give me like a workbook, or, like a workbook to do uh, over the summer. I didn't have to finish it, but like at least, like do some of it so mm-hmm. I can actually you know not fail next grade of That's course what I did. and you know eventually because apparently when I was in kindergarten and I got to first grade the teacher told my mom that I literally like couldn't read <laughs> um and my mom's like huh the teacher didn't tell me that so then I learned how to read and that's what some parents don't do with their kids. Like, they don't work with them, or they don't even give them a workbook or help or anything. They kind of all expect. Well, I guess it's a bit different for my mom, because she teaches, like, um, like the EFL kids, where, like, they don't know English, or, like, regular people, so they're super low. But, like, oh, uh, yeah. It's like, you have to, you can't teach... You can only teach a kid that knows first grade reading, and she's in fourth grade. So you can only teach so much in a year. So parents that don't want to teach their kids, there's uh, definitely a market for you for, I guess, 
whatever you're comfortable with. And you can do it like dirt cheap too, if you don't want like 20 bucks an hour. Exactly. Most tutors are like 50 bucks an hour. Dude, I was thinking 20 bucks. Yeah, like that is... I think 20 bucks an hour, easy money. You know, it's not going to be like that hard of a shit. Like maybe at max, some person might ask you to teach them algebra, but... I could I guess attempt could, an algebra. Yeah, I mean, you just have to put your credentials. I'm sure there's a tutoring sites that you can get. Yeah. Where you can, I don't know, post flyers on the library or something. And then I'm coming into it, like, with experience. Mm-hmm. I think if you have, you know, time and want money, definitely. Make your own hours. Exactly. The only problem is, uh... Oh, I guess you can just say, like, me at the library and not, like, house or anything, so you don't have to do heavy transportation. Can you drive? Yeah. Okay, then. It doesn't really matter then, but whatever's close, really. Because, whew, those gas prices. Oh, bro, I don't even feel it. My mom pays for gas. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. I don't die. Whew. You don't die. You know what's funny? In all my Minecraft worlds, I struggle to find a fortress. In this one, I've ran across three. So you're just heading west? Mm-hmm. Is that just like the main goal? It's it's kind of like my thing. Because what, what I'll do in like any... I don't want to stand on the edge there. In any Minecraft world with my friends is just I'll run west until I see something that I like. And then I'm like, oh, I'm setting up here. And then they all follow me. So I figure, why not make a world, right? You know, the boy Luke the Notable? Mm -hmm. I'm sure someone's already done this, but what if I just walk for 100 days in Minecraft? I'm kind of a pro at it. That's true. Now it's the light Hard work. I know someone has a world that they've kept since the beta, and you're like the Badlands, or whatever it's called, or the Minecraft yeah, yeah, world yeah. called Dragon. Someone's done that. I don't know if he if he actually reached it, but he's done it for like years, and I think he must have reached it by now. But like stuff like that is pretty cool. Stuff that doesn't exist anymore, which sucks, because you'd get hell of views for shit like that. But yeah. you know, just walking is cool. You know what I thought of? What did you like, think of? Probably like you know, every YouTube thing is like get in early. You know, yeah. Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, like maybe they're entertaining, but maybe there's more entertaining people out there that don't have as many subscribers because obviously they're first and, you know, they have the most subscribers now. Um, so it's like get in first. So like stuff like ASMR, people that did it first obviously have the most subscribers, even if it's not the most groundbreaking content. And, yeah. I, and I don't want to show my face, so I thought about like just white noise and just like a black background, and I just do like sounds for like an hour, and that's it. And You're gonna be an ASMR? I, I do not I mean, want to go in there. It's I feel like that would be like the easiest thing where I just like upload like random sounds i do think asmr would probably be like the easiest niche to get into yeah but also a lot of people see that so you have a lot of competition yeah and I'll, you gotta be like actually, dummy consistent because mm -hmm. i actually watch asmr i uh, feel that to like i don't know it, i never know if it's like i just up too late and then I fall asleep but it's nice and a lot of channels kind of cap out at like <sighs> hey shit he's, he's a little nutty with it wait is that a face with the glowstone I don't know it looked like it though maybe um cap out at like 500,000 subscribers or something like that but if you like start out recently is what I've noticed it's like hard to push the threshold it's only so many people find ASMR pleasing and not. That's weird. true. I, I think. Hmm. I don't know. I also watch a lot of ASMR, and it's like, mm -hmm. I think you either gotta be 
really specific with it and then just like pray that you find that audience yeah or you got to be very broad with it and instead of putting it under like the asmr term it's got to be like under just like the relaxing term you know that's so because like I've, i bet good money i turn the gain up on my mic i fucking hate this here i turn the gain up on my mic i talk a little quieter and then i play that like one town building game it's just mm -hmm. kind of relaxing I've thought about doing that, but I think you can definitely do that um, if you wanted. Be a little experimental with it. Yeah, why not? It's not like you know the only thing about making videos is like if you get embarrassed or something for the content. But it's like if you're happy making content, who the fuck cares? That's true. I think I got I got to get rid of that mindset. Yeah, because Which... it's like. You, you hear like, you know, Mr. Beast doesn't even talk like when he was 13 and he showed his friends like his YouTube channel and they made fun of him. So he like deleted all his videos. Yeah. Like, obviously as a 15 year old, like, oh, my bro. God, my cheeks are clenched. Oh, shit. Bro. Oh, so nuts. Uh, I'm saying Mr. Beast 13. Yeah. Obviously, when you're young, you're gonna take what your friends say, and you're gonna be embarrassed, but it's like, who the fuck cares, man? If you're, Mr. Beast obviously showed his friends because he was proud of his content, and then they made fun of him. Like, fuck you. True. Yeah. Just kind of that thing. I'm just gonna say, fuck you. I don't make what I don't make. And the audience is there, the audience is there. It's one thing if it's like a bad video, it's one thing if you know how to make a video and it's good and you're yeah. self-conscious about it. It's also very hard to like, what don't I need that? It's very hard to like get noticed just from YouTube alone. Because yeah. I mean, it's, it's annoying because it is like a 98% skill. You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta know how to make that good video. That gets people to stay. But the 2%, oh, I'm a fucking dumbass. I fucked the fucking axe. The, the 2% of it is so crucial. Mm -hmm. Because that's how you initially build your audience and get going. It's all like 2% is luck. Like, if you get a moist critical to watch your video on, they get 50,000 views from just that traffic. You know, and people, and then on his, I saw this guy do like most critical react to like this true crime, whatever, mm -hmm. of this guy, and his reaction video got like three million views. So that guy got a bunch more subscribers. You know. Right. So. It's just branding. Yeah, yeah got to make the good video. Got to get a little lucky. Got to go out there, put your name out there, and then just like be consistent with it. Yeah, and. Stuff like you have to be on like everything now, like TikTok. That's true. YouTube, you know, people are doing the TikTok live streams to, um, what is it? TikTok live stream to now Netflix sign up for my Twitch, you know? Yeah. And Dude. that's the next kind of move. Honestly, TikTok goes hard. Yeah. I, I posted one TikTok, like an Overwatch TikTok, and it got. Which, it's, it's not a lot in TikTok standards, but versus, like, the 70. I get I get more views on the TikTok than I do the YouTube. Which oh, is yeah, fair, yeah. because I haven't posted on YouTube in uh, eons. Mm -hmm. But TikTok just has more traffic, just simply and utterly. Yeah, it's just the biggest, like... It is YouTube. the easiest way to get your name out there. Yeah, you see... 30,000 likes on TikTok, and like that's not that, that, that much for TikTok, but on 30,000 likes on YouTube is a lot of yeah. likes. So 30,000 views but, in general is just a lot. Oh, yeah. And it's definitely different because with YouTube, those people will most likely go into your other videos, but you see a TikTok, and you're like, oh, that's nice. You like it, and you kind of move on yeah. sometimes. You don't really... Some people might not go through your shit if they have to like really enjoy it. See, that's that's the thing with TikTok though. You're not there for viewer retention. TikTok is absolute dog shit for viewer retention. 
Mm-hmm. If you if you follow someone, you have to go into a separate tab to go like see them more often. Yeah. TikTok is good for initial discovery. Cuz yeah. if you if you see someone on TikTok and you recognize the name and then you go on like YouTube and you see that person in a thumbnail, you're like, "Oh, I saw their TikTok. They were kind of funny. Let me give this video a watch." Mm-hmm. Boom. Someone's on your YouTube channel now. From there, you can ask them to subscribe. It's free. You can always unsubscribe later. Yeah. Just employ all those tactics. It's going to be crazy how, like, YouTube is now, like, this kind of, I guess, like, business, like, whole, you know what I'm saying? It's like a whole yeah. business than what it was, like. You always hear Forever, these yeah. old people being like, oh yeah, I just uploaded videos because, you know, and now I'm like a fucking millionaire or whatever because I stay consistent. Crazy. It's crazy what YouTube can do for people. And then it's all out of their passion too. Like now people are like branding and whatever. But beforehand, it was just, I like making Minecraft videos. People like watching my Minecraft videos. Mm-hmm. When I was little, me and my brother got these little camcorders. And mm-hmm. I guess we were like, I don't know, fucking eight, maybe like six or something. And we just do like, like, kids. And then we were like, oh yeah, we're going to. God knows we never upload on YouTube, thank like, fuck. <laughs> They're like these little, you know, kid things. But it's like, it was like a dream back then, and now it is like the dream job now for like all kids. Yeah. Just make videos, make fat racks, and do nothing but make videos that you came up with. Dude, I, I used to want to like, well not used to, I guess, but I was very naive about it back then like in the fifth grade and it's bad there's old cross not youtube you are never gonna find it though like that is not something that's gonna happen but there's there's old videos of me out there you know i would i would play like drive ahead record with mobs in just in the mom's car while she hey. makes a gas station stop or something Drive ahead went hard. Right. Drive ahead is so it's such a good game. I love it, it really so much. Is. But like that was me in fifth grade, right? And then I do tutoring, and um, they every Wednesday they do journal days. Mm-hmm. So they come up with a topic, and someone has to write about it. Well, not someone. Everyone does. And the topic was, "What is your dream job?" And this one fourth grader that I was like kind of getting to know better because he kept asking for homework and stuff and he goes i want to be a youtuber mm-hmm. and i i just got like sent back because mm-hmm. I, I it was at like the same school that i wow. was doing all that stuff at it was just i think they did a study where it's like 11 to 18 year olds 70 percent of them want to be like a youtuber like, that's crazy 70 percent over being an actress, a race car driver, a police officer, like something that like, you know, more to mainstream. Kids. Yeah. A YouTuber. <sighs> Imagine. I mean, it goes hard. It does go hard. And we should start a podcast. <laughs> Hey, they, 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 they'd, they'd be eating this shit up, you know? Episode they'd, zero. Episode zero, uh, what would we call ourselves? That's two a, monkeys and a banana? Two, what's the banana? I guess, like, society. <laughs> <laughs> society. Because, because, yeah, we, get it, get it, we peel apart society. Oh my Holy dude. shit. Christ, you, you know, you, you should start a YouTube channel. <laughs> we should start a podcast. Man, that's, you know, the joke where it's like every 30 year old. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We should, we should buy a bar.
I did not know you can mine quartz with stone. Mm -hmm. I use stone for practically everything. That's what I'm, a gr I'm a greedy bastard, and I don't like using iron. Dude, that's what I do. I'm like very, I'm very frugal. I think that's what the word means. Yeah, it's definitely what it means. Because it's like, if if I get like ten pieces of iron, I make a chest plate, and mm -hmm. like no tools. Like I'm not making a sword. No, literally. No, like no, I, I get I get three pieces of iron, and I save that for diamonds. That's what I'm saying. Like, I will use stone pickaxes in the mine. Until I'll, I'll, I get I'm diamond. Such a dumb bitch that if I don't have an unbroken three diamond pickaxe, I'll still use stone. That's how <laughs> that's how fucking psychotic I am. I was just like, yeah, but like, oh, it's gonna break. It's like, okay, it's my it's Minecraft. That's the whole point. What does that say about society? Need to peel apart this banana. I'd be so sad if I wasn't going west this entire time. It'd be a bit funny. Sorry, my mom came in and she had to clean out the uh, air filter. And you're good. Yeah. Cross. You know, I know the craziest thing. I do. It's my school. So. Um. Holy shit, bro. Whoa. Hey, that motherfucker went, alright? <laughs> Dude, he was flying. I hate, I hate those signing guys. Um, so basically, there's this teacher, biology teacher. Um. I think you know where the story is going. A bit nerdy. Um, he was very close with the female students. Oh. And, you know, it, you wouldn't expect this guy, 30, you know, not married, nerdy, talks about Pokemon all the time, so I've heard. I never had a class with him in um, And, you know, winter break came along, and it was found out that he was sleeping with a 14 year old and oh. his sister called the cops. So when we got back, it was a fucking field day. It was, we we wouldn't stop making jokes for the first month of January. Even the teachers, we changed all the library pictures to his mugshot. Oh um, my God. Background. Um, and it was funny, you know, and uh, I've never actually saw the girl. I think I did. I never really got an answer to who the fuck she was. I guess, you know, makes sense. No one wants to know you screwed the fucking biology teacher. True. Um, but, you know, that was fun. Uh, we kind of made fun of it for the rest of the year every now and then. But, you know, next year started, you know, still making, like, some, like, one-off jokes sometimes. Uh, winter break came along. And we came back, and you know, a couple weeks came by. Oh, it's like no teacher's gonna be a pedophile, and that's where we're wrong. So <laughs> another teacher had sex with a student, bro. Um, but this this student was at least 18 years old, right? Um, and they were like this bodybuilder guy, and he he fucked a teacher that was, I guess. Um, the police came to the school and everything, and it was, because it was all over fucking social media. Um, and the teacher was kind of like the teacher everyone wanted to, I guess, you know, they wanted it, her to go to jail with them, you know what I'm saying? Mm hmm So. The Mrs. Glass. In, well, well, it's like if Glass was like 30 and kind of thing, you know? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so yeah, and then the entire day after school, when I was just waiting to get picked up, it was just every guy was like, bro, it should have happened to me! It should have happened to me! It should have been me! 
And then the funny thing is that she was also married and her husband was in the military. So, you know. Oh, that, 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 that military was really, wife. That was heartbreaking. And she was also like really weird where she'd like ask students like follow her Twitter or whatever. And she had a couch in her classroom. Oh. And everyone suspects that they had sex on that couch. It had to be, right? It, I mean, it had to be. So then we made fun of that for, you know, the next couple of years. Um, and then I started placing bets on which teacher would be caught next. <laughs> um, teacher that was really buddy buddy with the students, or it was this like six foot seven geometry teacher that everyone hated. Um, but he was a little bit weird because he stalked his wife, his ex wife, and it was everyone talked about it. Um, but then COVID happened. So, you know, I don't know. But then... There's more? Then, this year, at the beginning of the year, some girl, um, said that the drama teacher sexually assaulted her. So then he quit his job because I guess he didn't want to deal with it. And I think even though he quit his job and everything, the charges were false. But he still left. So there was there was that my my school, well, my ex school was a uh, your ex school. Place. Yeah, my, my my old high school, my ex school. You know what I'm saying. Besides that, uh, I guess there was this Lipton kid. We call them Lipton kid because he sold Liptons. Um, went to juvie because he, he, uh, someone reported him for a bomb threat that he said, mm. and he went to juvie for eight months, and he, then he was in my chemistry class, and the entire chemistry class, uh, we just talked about his time in juvie, and it was fun, because my teacher was depressed, and did the same four lessons, so, <laughs> that was nice. Not the depressed part, but yeah. she would also only play Backstreet Boys, the same Backstreet Boy album, for 180 days of class. <laughs> Cross, I lost my mind. I probably, I probably want it that way. Tell me peak, why. Peak tenth grade, I definitely do that song by by the lyrics. Every micro word. <laughs> Alright, Cross. Every micro word. Yeah, that's about it. Before I was there, my brother was there. Um, some kid let the toilet on fire. Oh. Yeah, so that was something. And uh, the usual fights. Mm, there's probably more shit, but I don't know about it. I'm not like invested in anything that goes on in my school i don't know the that big egg just jump scared me i don't know like the drama or anything i heard or, the i heard these girls coming up with a plan in the middle of like my homeroom class mm -hmm. they were like who should we invite to this halloween party to make the most drama that's crazy i was just very glad because i almost not i almost but i was almost a part of that group Mm -hmm. of people because she one of the girls out of me on snap and she's like hey i'm just gonna put this out there you're really cute and i'm like thanks oh, but yeah. no thanks i got overwatch to play you know how's the girlfriend going girlfriend's going good love to fucking hear it cross love to hear no no complaints no issues love to hear it. yeah high school is definitely dude you... fun for the drama I'm not really invested, it's just like, those were like the major things, like, everyone kind of knew what was going on. Do kids use the vape room for the bathroom still? Yeah. Yeah. I hear freedom. Let's go. It's so, like, weird when you... Oh. Freedom! Bro, those magma cubes fucking hurt. I fucking hate magma cubes because you don't think they would hurt that much because they're just fucking cute. They slaughter your health. Like, holy. Right, proof? Ooh. And that's what I'm saying. 
No. 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 No, don't put me back in there. No, no, go there, go there. I trust, trust, trust. There's a way out, there's a way out for us. Oh. Like the hit video game? Yes. I have to play that. It's so good. Have you seen any of it? No, because I... The whole thing was like... I wanted to, but then I was like, no, you have to play it blind. You do have to play it blind. If you don't play it blind, it's just not worth it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But we we could play a way out drug. We could, we could. I was thinking about playing it with... Oh, hi, Knight. I don't know, someone that... We're, we're, we're starting a podcast. We are starting a podcast. Two what gorillas, podcast? one banana. That is not. It's. It was two monkeys and a banana. Now you made it. Okay. Okay. Now two you made it sexual. Oh, two girls and a. But that's not sexual. <laughs> I'm goobing right now. You see it. You see. You you goob so hard, uh, accusing me. You right said now. you said two monkeys and a banana. That's sexual. That's not sexual. Or two monkeys, one banana, because it's like two girls, one cup. Okay. Well, like I didn't think of that. <laughs> so, so what was the name? Two monkeys and a banana. Because our banana. profile pictures. And the banana is society. Yeah, yeah, that's what we get. Yeah, society. Because we peel apart society on the podcast. Yeah, you see that? You see that one night? Yeah, you like that? Wow. We're fucking you guys are so wise. They're going to yeah. have to write rhetorical analysis. Dude, that is all oh. I do in my AP Lang class. It is so boring. <laughs> I was about to say. It, I was I'm, about to say you learned that in school today, Cross. I did. I'm gonna <laughs> night. I'm gonna lose my mind. Literally, I walk in there and every single day it's okay. We're gonna practice writing a rhetorical analysis. Uh, is this for AP Lang? Yeah. AP AP Lit is just you read, right? I think so. I don't know. AP Lang is you write. I'll tell you next year. It's really, I think lit lit is your reading for the most part. Lang is like you're analyzing how to write in like literature. Yeah. She doesn't. They're both, super, they're both super easy tests though. She didn't really like teach us any strategies or anything. She just kind of like sent us in blind at one point. For, yeah, for Lang, it's as long as you get your point across, you're fine. Yeah. Like, if you get your point across and it makes sense and you have examples, it's kind of like the same thing for Lit. For Lit, they say you have to read the books. You don't really actually have to read the books. Um, I mean, they're going to give you, like, a list of, like, this is a theme, and they're going to give you a list way. of books you can use. But, like, again, as long as you prove your point, you're pretty goaded for the most part. I don't know. I've always been able to bullshit English in, like, past. So. I don't know an easy test. You fucking bitch. <laughs> a AP Psych. AP Psych's easy. <gasps> yeah. Oh, You're Cross. So funny. Oh, so my. Funny. No way. So funny. Crossy fell from a high place. Crossy fell from a high place. This motherfucker whipped up the crowd. Alright, so are we getting on comp now? God. Maybe. There's and no way. Or is your plan to build up the gravel, or you thought that was cobblestone? I was I was gonna like stack the gravel so I could get down. Happens to the spottiest of us, Cross. No, no way. 